Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to Turner Mobile Detailing. Today we've got another tire dressing challenge for you. The winner of our previous challenge, Carpro Pearl. And today we're putting it up against Optimum's OptiBond Tire Gel. Let the challenge begin. So of course we've got two brand new clean microfiber applicator sponges in order to avoid any cross contamination between the two products. So here on the passenger side of the vehicle we're going to be applying Optimum's OptiBond tire gel and then over on the driver side of the vehicle we're going to be applying CarPro Pearl. So let's get started first here on the passenger side with OptiBond. So as we did last time both products were using undiluted even though they are both water-based and can be diluted. But again, we're trying to get the most longevity out of the products. So we're using them straight out of the bottle. Also, just like our previous tire dressing comparison, each tire has been thoroughly cleaned and scrubbed two times. Now the Optivon is rather on the thicker side, but this product is a gel, so that's to be expected. And as I'm applying it, I can almost feel it starting to grab or bond to the rubber substrate. So that gives me a lot of hope right away that this stuff is gonna last. It's a little bit on the translucent side, so it blends in with the tire a little quicker. All in all, it's very easy to use. I typically put about two to three dime-sized dollops of product on my applicator pad at a time, work it into about a quarter to about a third of the tire. And with this kind of tire dressing, I advise take your time, rub it in, get it in all the treads, don't try to rush it. And as I'm applying it and rubbing it in, I'm seeing that it produces a nice satin to semi-loss finish. Okay, so now we're gonna take care of our driver's side tires with CarPro Pearl. Now, as we saw last time with the Pearl, it's very easy to apply, but as with any of these thicker tire dressings, they are going to take a little bit more effort to rub in or massage into the tire. More effort than say a watery dressing like G-Technics T2 tire dressing. And again, as we saw last time, very similar to the Optimum OptiBond, the Carpro Pearl produces a nice satin to semi-loss finish. So if you like the idea of the pump dispenser for the Carpro Pearl, or if you've already used it before and you like using it, the good news is that that same pump dispenser fits the Optimum OptiBonds bottle also. Okay, now for some final thoughts on our two tire dressings. OptiBond Tire Gel and CarPro Pearl. Now the OptiBond I have comes in a 32 ounce size. You can get it in other sizes like a full gallon. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna assume that the 32 ounce size is probably the most popular. And it weighs in at a range of 16 to $18, give or take depending on where you buy it from. Now the Pearl also comes in a liter size, but since it's a true liter European metric measurements, it comes in at 33.8 ounces, which gives you an extra 1.8 ounces US standard. And the Pearl weighs in anywhere from, again, $18 to around $25, $26, depending on where you buy it from. But the cheaper sites, the ones that you can get it for around $18 for a liter, you're gonna pay a lot more for shipping. That's usually how it works. So in a price comparison, the OptiBond is the clear winner. That 1.8 ounces extra that you get with the Pearl really doesn't balance out or tip the scales when it comes to the cost between each product. As far as usability goes, both were basically the same. They're of a thicker consistency, so they're gonna take just a little bit more effort to apply than, as I said before, like a thinner dressing like G-Technics T2. However, if we get the longevity that we're looking for, it more than justifies the extra minute or two that it would take to apply the products. So now let's take a look at what each dressing looks after it's been applied, has had a few minutes to set and dry, and see what the finish looks like. So now that we see some after footage, both tire dressings have had a chance to dry. The OptiBond really has a matte to satin finish to it. 
if you add another coat to it, you can get up to the semi-gloss finish if that's what you like. But if you like the matte to satin sheen on your tires, just stick with the one coat. And of course, after both dressings dried for about 10 to 15 minutes, before we filmed this after footage, I buffed down any remaining residue of the dressings that wasn't absorbed by the tire. This gives a nice uniform finish around the whole tire. The Pearl retains most of its semi-gloss sheen. As you can see, it still has a very nice semi-gloss finish to it. So I figure while we're at it, why don't we see how these two tire dressings do on black trim? After all, they are made for plastic trim too. Now the trim on this Forester is very old, and as you can see, it's very faded. It's very splotchy. As you can tell, it's been heavily bleached by the sun over the last 11 to 12 years. So just like with the tires, on the passenger side, we're going to be using Optimum's OptiBond Tire Gel, and on the driver's side, we're going to be using CarPro Pearl. Now if you can tell from the footage, the fender trim is not darkening the way maybe you would have expected it to or even I expected it to when I applied it. That's because the fender trim plastic is a much smoother consistency than the rest of the trim on the rest of the vehicle. So it's not going to absorb the dressing the same way as everywhere else. You do see the difference. It does look a lot better than it did. But we're not going to achieve that deep, rich black look like everywhere else on the vehicle. Now what I'm going to do is leave about a three to six inch section right here in the center of the bumper free of any treatment, just bare plastic. That way we can maintain a control section between the two dressings and that'll give us a much better idea as to the fading process and when it's totally gone. Okay, so the driver's side has been done with Carpo Pearl. We've wrapped right around the front to the side and now to the rear, now to this control section. And now from our control section onto the passenger side in the front of the vehicle, let's continue with Optimum's OptiBond tire gel. Okay, so that'll about do it for our initial tire dressing challenge between Optimum's OptiBond Tire Gel and CarPro's Pearl. We're going to see how these two products hold up over the next two weeks. If you remember from our previous video series, my wife's Subaru that we applied these to, it sees daily driving to and from work. 
She puts about 100 to 150 miles on it per week. It's gonna see rain. It's gonna sit outside all day and all night. And we've already seen some frost early in the morning this time of year. So in two weeks, I'll update you on their longevity, how they've held up. We'll take a look at how they look on the tire and see which one is still standing. That all being said, thanks for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this content and I hope you're as excited as I am to see how these two tire dressings hold up against one another in real world driving conditions. If you did enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give us a like right down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future auto detailing content just like this. As always, I'm Seth with Turner Mobile Detailing and we'll see you in two weeks.